Welcome, everybody. My name is Professor Brian Keating, and I'm the proprietor of the Dr. Brian Keating Into the Impossible podcast and YouTube channel. So we're going to be doing this every so often, Impossible Questions segment, and I hope you'll enjoy it, and you'll send in questions to the Instagram and or Facebook group, Drinking Bros Nerds, and other uh, sessions that we can uh, access. And I will read the questions on a probably quarterly basis, and we'll hopefully get some really stimulating answers and questions back and forth. Uh, viewer A. Rizzoli asks, is the speed of light a set speed, or can light waves themselves be manipulated or sped up or slowed down? Uh, that's a very good question. We don't believe that there's any way to transmit light or any other immaterial or material particle or field or force faster than the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. Uh, and there's no way to actually speed it up. In fact, what Einstein showed in the early part of the 1900s was that even if you were traveling at close to the speed of light and you turn on a flashlight, that flashlight will still be, have photons within it that will move at the speed of light. You would think that you'd get basically twice the speed of light. But it's possible to show through the mathematical transformations that are known as special relativity that he invented uh, that that speed of light is a constant. In fact, it's such a strongly held belief that no information, no other forces or field or, or structure can be communicated faster than the speed of light. Effectively, nowadays, the speed of light is a constant that's defined. In other words, it's a number that we define to be measured at a certain value with no uncertainty in it, and then everything else can be measured with respect to it, distance, time, et cetera. Uh, and so, no, there, we don't believe that uh, light waves themselves can be sped up or slowed down in a vacuum. Now, you can speed up or slow down light in a medium, and that's how glasses work. They diffract by slowing down differential waveform of the light as it propagates through a medium that's not the vacuum. But I assume that you are asking about the propagation speed possibility of speeding it up faster than the speed of light, c, 186,000 miles per second. That is believed to be impossible. But you can slow it down. In fact, some scientists have slowed it down to effectively a walking speed. But again, this is using materials that are engineered here in a laboratory. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this episode of Impossible Answers with yours truly, Dr. Brian Keating, Chancellor's Distinguished Professor of Physics and co-director of the Arthur C. Clarke Center for Human Imagination at the University of California, San Diego. Check me out on my YouTube channel, Dr. Brian Keating. Subscribe to my podcast, the Into the Impossible podcast. Please leave ratings, reviews, and all that. That really helps me out. And we'll do more of these, hopefully like once a quarter. We'll compile your questions, and I'll hopefully give you some answers to impossible questions. For now, signing off and thanking you very much for being a part of my multiverse. This is yours truly, Professor Brian Keating.